Welcome! This is Euphorbia flanagani, a plant with a very unusual shape. It has a very thick stem, which looks a little bit like a trunk, and from it, from the top of it, grow uh, tentacle-like stems uh, that are on the plant for about a year or so, and then at the end of the growth season they dry up and they die. And all of the bumps here on the on the trunk, all of the bumps on the on the stem are uh, scars from the spots where the um, uh, long stems grew and then they um, fell off. Euphorbia flanagani belongs to genus Euphorbia, and genus Euphorbia is a very uh, varied uh, genus. In this genus, there are plants that are not succulent, just regular plants that grow in temperate climates, but there are plenty of succulents as well, and the succulents from the genus Euphorbia are quite unlike anything else. This is because the succulent euphorbias didn't evolve from one ancestor, one common ancestor. Many of them evolved independently. And because evolution is a very random process, very unpredictable process, uh, many euphorbias look unlike uh, other euphorbias. This one is sometimes called Medusa's head. Medusa is a character from the ancient Greek mythology. It is a woman with uh, snakes instead of hair. And there is a very similar species uh, to this one, which is called uh, Euphorbia ca caput medusa, which is exactly Medusa's head. This one sometimes commonly is called med uh, Medusa's head as well, although it's not Euphorbia caput medusa. Uh, at one point I thought my Euphorbia was Euphorbia caput medusa, but no, it's Euphorbia flanagani. Caput medusa has the uh, tentacle-like um, stems uh, much thicker than this one. If you want to find some unusual plants, some weird plants, the place to go is South Africa. And this species, this uh, Euphorbia, is a South African plant as well. In South Africa, the evolution in different patches of the, uh, of the environment takes place independently, and that's why the variety and the uh, invent the evolutionary inventions are so uh, unlike anything else. I would like to show you how I am watering this plant or how I am not watering this plant at all. Let me uh, lift this plant a little bit from the container it is growing and what I hope you will see, you will see the very long roots. At the very bottom of this, of this vase, of this, of this, of this little container, uh, there is some water. And uh, just like in nature, the roots grow down as far as they can, as far as they, uh, as they can reach in search for water. It all happened by pure accident. I like to put the pots in uh, nice containers just for them to look nice because I keep them in my in my living rooms. So it is for important for me uh, to make them look nice, not only the plant itself but also the container in, in which it is growing. So I stuck this plastic pot, which is not necessarily a very nice one, I stuck it in this in this vase, and I was thinking about finding something more suitable uh, 
for as a pot for the plant or as a or as a container in which to put the pot and when i was watering this plant uh, some of the water was dripping down and was concentrating at the bottom of this of this container and uh, i didn't even realize that the plant grew roots that re that were searching for water at the bottom of of the of the container so right now i am not watering the plant at all i just make sure that there is some water left at the bottom and there is the water is maybe maybe up to uh up to here there is not really that much water there and the look the pot the pot is barely uh, reaching the uh this line here. So the pot is not submersed in the water in any way. It's only the roots that reach uh, uh, the water. If I allowed this uh, water to evaporate completely, the roots would die and then uh, once the water would be there again, the roots would grow again. Very, and it all happens really quickly, just like in nature. There is no uh, incentive for the plant. It's not economical for the for the plant to uh, support a large root system if there is no water at all. But if if the plant is sensing some humidity somewhere, it is uh, growing roots to reach that source of water. So exactly the same mechanisms, uh, mechanisms occur in nature as well. Uh, euphorbias do not have very showy flowers. This one, when it blooms, it will have yellow flowers, very small yellow flowers, that will grow um, uh, along the, the, the long stems and in the center of the plant. However, because this plant is relatively new, it has never bloomed for me yet. And maybe next year, and when it does, I will make another video about it. So, this is basically it. This is my very small but very beautiful plant. And I hope I was able to show you the beauty of this plant, because I like it a lot. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have an amazing day.